Alright everybody, so welcome back once again. Last session. You <laughs> last session, you all uh, managed to escape from Peltavaria with the advanced starship, the Hyperlance. Um, the situation surrounding your leaving the station was rather suspicious, and you quickly found out that everything was not exactly as it was supposed to be, when there were several strange, stealth, highly advanced starships, four of them actually, waiting for you just outside of the station between you all and the Keshite Rift where you were trying to escape to. These ships proved to have advanced cloaking technology and were untraceable not belonging to Zephyr Corps or any other named or known organization that you all were aware of. They harried your craft as you made your way away from the space station towards the Keshat Rift, but you were able to destroy several of them and escape from those that you didn't destroy, making your way into the Keshat Rift. The Keshat Rift is a wormhole that stretches from one end of the galaxy to the other. Get you all a better look at it right here. So you all started right here at the Keshat Rift at Peltavaria. The journey through the galactic core, even for ships with Sorium drives, is extremely dangerous, and so this wormhole was created to allow quick transit. The nature of the space between the wormholes is still very much an unknown. The gates were created, and no one is really sure how they actually work, what the space is. It's considered to be another, almost another dimension between space and time that you travel through, making a journey that would normally take months or years take only a handful of days. While traveling through the rift, you first encountered a bit of a holdup when the ship's anti-theft anti -theft devices activated, threatening to unleash the ship's many mechanized combat units into the hold to eradicate any potential thieves. You all were able to deactivate these security measures and prevent any notice from being sent out to Revosis regarding your location or who was aboard the ship. You were able to successfully intercept those communications and deactivate these security measures, um, more or less tricking the Hyperlands into believing that you were its rightful owners. So, shortly thereafter, you all encountered the aftermath of a battle, being dropped out of your FTL speeds within the rift, stranded, unable to leave this area, but noticing several ships, potential salvage nearby. And on top of that, your power sources were beginning to drain, and so you all boarded these ships with the hope of finding... Um, loot, weapons, supplies, and whatnot, and found a grisly scene inside. The ship seemed to belong to an old, defunct megacorp, um, but the truly terrifying thing inside was what had happened to these people. They seemed to have been attacked by a creature or a species, beings known as the Evargun. However little is known about the Keshite Rift, even less is known about the beings that dwell within the rifts. These Evargun are said to be the stuff of nightmares, made from pure dark energy. They twist and warp and deform in, ter in, her in terrible ways um, anyone that they come into contact with. And it seemed that this entire fleet of starships had succumbed to these beings. While you search through the ship after discovering these humanoids and finding quite a substantial amount of sellable items within, a strange black orb floated up behind you all. It didn't attack, it didn't speak, it did nothing except for observe and then vanish. Sensing the potential danger you all found yourselves in, you decided to quickly leave the ship and get back to your own vessel just as you been, began receiving notifications that there was a movement aboard the ship. Once you got aboard, you noticed a creature known as a Rift Ravager. These ones are rather well documented, being energy beings that fed off of Sorium energy um, wherever they could find it. The biggest source of Sorium energy, of course, being your starship's reactor. You were able to defeat this creature with very minimal casualties to yourself. Basically, it was so focused on draining your Sorium drive that it barely paid you all any attention as you hacked it to pieces. However, by the time you managed to fell the creature, your Sorium drives were depleted to a point where you could no longer make a successful jump back to FTL. 
Just as you realize this, strange lights begin to flicker off in the distance through your viewports, far off into the space of the Keshite Rift and fast approaching. After witnessing what had happened aboard the other ship through data pads and whatnot, you realize that this was the herald marks of the Evar gun arriving. Noting that you needed to quickly get your ship powered back up, you decided to search the nearby ships for any de- any remaining power supplies. A quick scan of the area revealed that there were several. Um, however, none of them were in the safety of vacuum within any other ships. All of the engine compartments had been sheared off during the battles of these several ships. So now, as we all come back, you all are preparing to go for a bit of a spacewalk, to go and recover as many of these power canisters as you can, and return to the ship before the Evar gun arrive, hopefully. So that is where we are now. <laughs> All right, everybody. As was mentioned last time, you have one Right? I was waiting for it. I was waiting, and you, you let me down, Zai. <laughs> uh, fine. All right. So, as was mentioned last time, you all only have one EVA suit. Uh, she's she's hasn't met she hasn't gotten her full or her full uh her full form yet. She has a little combat drone that she can fly around. else not hearing the uh, the music okay it is very soft it's weird I... yeah yeah I've got no I've got I've got mine max and it's still soft for me I'm gonna test something real quick <laughs> I'm just gonna turn on one of the fight musics Okay, yeah, I'll just put it right back where it was. I just can't hear it for some reason, which is weird. <laughs> oh, I see what the problem is. Portal. Your mom's You're a portal. portal. Yes, she That's is. Thinking with portals. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I set it up. Okay, I got music perfect back. Okay. Timing. Oh yeah, that's I've, perfect. I, that's not the only one tonight. I'm sure. Oh yeah. Can't oh, believe my. there's a second person doing this. <laughs> <laughs> doing what? The whole yeah. patico. Oh that. Oh that. Yeah. Okay, um, so yeah, you have one suit. You have identified, we'll call it eight different, eight different um, canisters out there, eight different Saurian power canisters um, that you can essentially, that you could, in theory, get to and get back in time. Um, each one farther than the last. So with each one that you attempt, you will have to travel farther to get to it. How many do we need? Make a mechanics check, somebody. Uh... I've got. I have I've plus got, two. I, I can. I have a plus five. Perhaps our mechanic. Yeah, I'm gonna take the. Let's wait. Do I need the natural twenty? <laughs> We've got scary demons coming. Up. With an eleven, I would say that you can determine that you need somewhere between two and four. 
We need somewhere between two and four, so let's just go for three. Okay. Four. That's good. Right in the middle. Or just four, just in case. Can we? Can I try to make one? One more check, as always, yep. Hey. You need four. <laughs> okay, good to I know. Was good. I was gonna stop at three. I'm glad I did it. <laughs> All right. Well, if we did stop at three, I was gonna say start from the furthest ones away and work our way. That way, if we needed a fourth to grab the closest one, that would be that. That's that pretty damn clever. Yeah, that's pretty damn clever. I yeah. do have an intelligence. Okay, <laughs> I'm not a head empty character this time. I can confirm that that is the smartest sprout. <laughs> Box is like, I like the way you think. We're going to head to the fourth one first. Okay. We're all going to die. Yay. Lay is just cowering. (laughs) Like, So who's putting on the suit? Teeth. Bacchus. Bacchus. Okay, Bacchus. All right. It's a bulky outfit. It is heavy. Um, built in oxygen inches apply. It is chemically sealed, though, um, which means that it would be incredibly difficult for any sort of contaminant to get in. All right. Well, yeah. that's good. You have 20 feet of movement. You have eight hours of breathable air. Hopefully you don't need all that. Mm-hmm. <coughs> My trail eight didn't hours later. <laughs> <laughs> Scroll back up to my Dementor gift from earlier. That's what's going to be hours later. Oh. <laughs> be okay. safe. So, Bacchus, exactly how many others are going with you again? It's me, Alpha, Alpha and our, our two, two drones. drones, and Sova. Okay, so there are five of you. Fantastic. Oh, God. That leaves four of you. Well, you got to think about that, though. There's still three of you on the ship that are full bodied. Yep. 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 No, I mean, that's good, but oh god, that's a lot of you outside the ship as well. <laughs> yeah, but drones Easy to get if necessary be abandoned. Do not abandon. Lay looks at Nikolai when you <laughs> say, like, saying that, and looks at Alpha and Bacchus. Do not abandon Sova. <laughs> I swear <laughs> on all the planets, if you abandon her out there, we can tran. That's just a drone. Uh, she, uh, can be <laughs> she can be transferred. She can be transferred back to the ship. Nikolai, it doesn't matter. Do not abandon Sova. We can Promise abandon me. the body, but to transfer her to the ship. She, she lives can in get the new body. Yeah. Box like, doesn't she live in the mm-hmm. sim? It doesn't matter if we lose her physical body. It right. matters to me. I worked very hard <laughs> on that droid for her. Okay? It's made specially. It's just the drone. The droid it is does, not here yet. It's drone, whatever. Drone. 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 <laughs> <Drain. laughs> going back to sleep. <laughs> Tell me when the monsters are gone. <laughs> uh, they're gone now. No, they're not. Don't lie to me, Alpha. <laughs> I'll be in the cap. I mean, the the pilot's chair, just in case. We if you close your eyes, it'll be gone. Got it. You sit in that pilot's chair, and closed. friggin' Bacchus is giving you a dirty look. Okay, everybody. You're not on the ship, right? I'm the airlock. <laughs> uh, You'll look at you through coming. the front window. <laughs> he right trips by the front I... window and glares at you. <laughs> uh, I am going to, to suggest that those of us on the ship. Be where we can either operate sensors, pilot, or man weapons if needed. No, no, I hear you, Solori. I sit back at the, like, both techie areas, technician, swapping back and forth between them. Okay. So, Bacchus, there are eight cells out there at various different points of wreckage throughout throughout the area. How far out do you go first? We're going to target the first four and go to the fourth farthest one. And to save whatever propulsion Bacchus has on his suit, he will be holding on to Zeno for for movement. Got it. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. That's a smart. 
um, I shall follow the suit and hold on to uh, Beta for movement as well. All right, and Sova in her super fancy custom drone suit flies alongside all of you. Now, you approach the first, or I should say the fourth, in the row of various pieces of wreckage that you see, and you see a piece of the engine compartment of one of the smaller vessels. It has been completely sheared off as if like a neck through butter, a laser weapon obviously responsible for the damage. Um, but you do see one of the Sorium cores there. I need a mechanics check okay. from whoever is actively handling the core. Um, what is your mechanics? Four. Oh yeah, much I'll, better. I'll take the 23. Okay. All right. That's the only one I got. This is going to take longer than an hour, so I lose my hunter's mark. Okay. <sighs> you do dislodge the first one and are able to safely stow it, either on your person or on the one of the drones. Um, my drone isn't big enough to carry anything, so it'll be on my person. I have my backup pack. Okay. So you went out towards the fourth one in the row, and you're making your way and back now, towards the ship now. Correct. Okay. Go ahead. So you arrive at the next one. Very similar. Engine compartment of one of the smaller ships. Same deal. I need a mechanics check from you. <sighs> there we go. Okay. You are able to successfully detach another of the cores. The next one that you see. On the row. On my, on my way there to the second one, I want to take my binoculars out and check on our ship to make sure everything's okay. Okay. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I make a check? Because we see the, what are they called again? The boogeyman? The Evar gun. All you see of them right gun. now is strange flashes of light and darkness. Can I see if those are getting closer? Anything popping up on our... Is, are there our ship radars kind of still functional? Yeah, your sensors are still working. Can I see anything on the sensors, like vision-wise? See if they're getting closer, especially to Bacchus and Alpha. Make a perception check. La, 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 la. When he oh. took all my good rolls. <laughs> so mm -hmm. Layla with a 12. You can certainly discern that they are getting closer. That is that is easily decided upon. Um, you do feel like you see strange shapes inside. Geometric shapes. Very large Whoa. ones moving within the black. Is there a way that I can communicate that to... Oh yeah, party out you all there. Have, you're all you're through all in my data. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're so all I communicate. You have short range, com short range comms. Cool. Okay. I'm like, um, getting closer. There, there's some yeah, weird yeah, shapes yeah. out there. No, Bacchus, really, me. I'm not trying to rush you, but they are. They're still out there, but they, they're closing distance. So just be careful. There's some weird shapes. So Alpha, just keep an eye on Bacchus. Weird shapes how? Are they geometric in any way? Or like yeah. straight edges? Curves? Geometric. It's really, I've never seen anything like this before. And I don't remember this part from the stories that my mom would tell me. Everything else about them looks the way I heard. But this is different. Oh. Well, I'll speed ahead to getting the fourth core. Bacchus, the core. next oh, core. core that you see on the line, you actually don't see it right away. What you do see is a sheared off section of the larger of the ships. It appears that an entire containment section, an entire containment room of the other ship was sheared off completely. Unfortunately for you all, its doors are still intact. Okay. The remaining cell is locked behind a very secure blast door, basically in a box that is locked. Um, the sides are made of your standard ship hull material, steel on the inner sides, and then a security blast door. 
My is sensors any will indicate to, to you that these core you're looking for is inside. Okay. Is there any way to activate the door in any way? You can try a computer's check. Okay. Okay. Um, Alpha, with your 17, you are able to determine that the... You are able to deactivate the electronic the electronic components to this lock. There are still mechanical components to defeat, though. With your okay. 17 having succeeded on that, you have advantage on a mechanics check to try to get the door open. He does or I do? Um, Alpha. Can I... Can I... Um, can I instruct Bacchus in ways to d defuse it? And then he can get the advantage? Or I can assist you. Oh, you already have advantage. Never mind. Yeah. So, We're trying to Alpha, what you could do is negate the disadvantage that Bacchus would suffer from trying himself. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just try it myself. Twenty. Oh, Twenty. <laughs> 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 that helps. That helps. <laughs> All right, Alpha. <laughs> I didn't believe him, and suddenly did. <laughs> You do manage to get that door open, and you all hear a strange metallic screech as the door almost engages its permanent locks. But, Alpha, at the last moment, you do manage to manipulate the device to opening. Ah, oh, that was a close one. Yep. Alright. Bacchus, you know what to do. The core is inside, and it's housing. Awesome! Bacchus, you do not manage to remove the core, and as you are working, you can tell that repeated failed attempts in the core's sensitive and fragile state could potentially cause a de detonation. Ooh. You repeated try again. attempts? Repeated um, attempts. Repeated failures. No. Repeated failures. We're going to try it one more again. Can I aid him? Are you proficient in mechanics? Uh, yes. I have and a plus two. Are you yeah. proficient? Yes, I'm proficient, okay. but I have a zero in wisdom. Got it. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Oh, fuck. How far Are away we... from the ship is this piece? Um, it is the second closest. So... If we were to math it, we'd call each one about probably about 50 feet apart from each other, so that would put this one at 100 feet away. Damn, that's closer than I expected. Um, checking something. Okay, I am going to move our ship a little closer. Okay. Because you said that, that the, 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 the location they're working in has power. Minimal, but yes. Okay. I am going to... Once I'm within range, um, okay. I'm going to use remote connection to connect to the systems for the, for, 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 for the engine and, and power, power core. Okay. With that connection, can I assist... I'll say that you can stabilize the core. So basically okay. erasing Bacchus's last failure. Woohoo! Do I didn't make any kind of check for that? No. Okay. Any, hey, yeah, you right. used, used a spell slot for that, you're good. <laughs> Try it again. 14. <laughs> 14. Is <that> enough? <laughs> 14 is not enough, but it is also not a critical failure. Marcus. Oh my god. <laughs> you may try again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is so nerve wracking. Um, oh, Silva's here. Silva's here. Silva is. Silva's here. Oh, there Silva. we go. <laughs> Silva came and brought died. the luck. <laughs> right eyes. <laughs> okay. So you do manage Next to. Next time me a plus five. <laughs> Next, you do manage. Does that work for her mechanics? I don't know. I don't know if mechanics is one of her plus fives. Um, but, nonetheless, you do remove another of the cores. Now, there that is one left. That almost blew us up. The one almost blew you up, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, before I leave to the the, 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 the the closest ship, I want to look around to make sure we're safe and check my surroundings, and then I'm going to have us head to the first ship. Okay, Bacchus, as you look around, uh, make a perception check first off. Can our drones be ferrying all the cores back to the ship no, while we're in my doing backpack. this? Okay. More like attached I, to you at this point. The third core yeah. probably wouldn't fit in your bag. <laughs> my drone, he doesn't have a way to carry because I didn't take that drone. Got it, got it. So, Bacchus, um, looking around, you can certainly tell that those strange flashes of light surrounded in darkness, much like a black hole, um, are getting closer and closer to you. They are drawing quite near indeed, although it's impossible for you to tell just how far away they are. Distance in sight works very strangely in here. There's moments where you think they could be as few as a few hundred feet away from your ship, and other flashes appear miles out still. Um, but one thing is clear, you can sense that they're getting closer. You also can see those strange geometric shapes flashing inside. Enormous pyramids, strange diamond shapes, perfect cubes, perfect spheres, various different types of geometric shapes flashing within um, yeah. Bacchus doesn't like this, and he is going to head to, with haste, to the first ship. Okay. The last Boy, of the vessels. Then. Yeah, go ahead. As, because Lei would be 100%, like, watching these, making sure, like, her team is safe. Mm -hmm. Can I make a lore check? I'm proficient in lore. Okay. Since I do know about them from like childhood. I don't know anything about the geometric part of them, but maybe something I read online. Yeah, go ahead and make a lore one check. Day. Wow. You know everything. Lay, uh, I know you everything. You know that those you you kind of piece it together through various different myths and things. Um, these shapes have always preceded them, right? It's always been something that people see just before the Evergun are upon them. Um, you've also been able to, t to tell that, you also, you also know that shortly after these things stop flashing and are static objects, that is when the Evergun arrive. Now, they, the two things have never been really put together yet, but you are able to determine these must be their ships. They are constantly shifting, constantly changing, and you can tell that by the way that no one space occupies the same shape multiple times. Um, but yeah, it would appear that those geometric shapes appear to be whatever vessel they are flying, or piloting, or inhabiting on their way to you. And I... can I tell how close like because if the, i know that now that those are their ships am i able to get a better judgment on how close they really are to us since i'm now focusing not on the like because the way i'm picturing it is like i see the shapes kind of more static and i the blackness is and the flashing lights is kind of more flowy around them is that, am i making sense yes you can attempt your it, perception check at advantage now 14. With a 14 lay, you can tell that they are unfortunately far closer than they appear. They are, mm -hmm. in fact, as close as their closest after images are to you. Focusing in on them, they are minutes from being in front of your ship. Oh no. Alright. Um. That was fast, y'all. Level <laughs> 3? Bacchus? <laughs> Alpha? Sova? Um. There he here. Here. <laughs> Confirming. But we need the Saurian cores. Yeah. So, um, hurry up. We are up. trying as efficiently as possible. I know, but... You will experience slight sensation <laughs> and then death. Knowing this and knowing how close they are and with Kalela's knowledge of how massive these ships are and how close they actually are to you all, Nikolai, you could determine that they are going to block your exit. You cannot oh. jump to FTL with something that massive in your path. Nikolai, right. you can attempt your first piloting check to start getting yourself into a better position to get out. Um, 
Do we need need four cords? Or can we just go with the three we have? You know with your proficiency in mechanics that it would be difficult, but it would be possible. You would essentially have to jury rig the um, the power supply to to draw less, to draw less power. Nikolai, don't you do feel... succeed on your first piloting check. I don't feel safe doing that. I'd rather try to get this last one and have full power in case we need to power the fuck out. Nikolai's... Between Kalela's warning and Nikolai's piloting check bought you a little more time, everybody, so you can try. Okay, I'm gonna try once, and if I don't get it the first time, box box, fuck this shit. I'm gonna tell Kalela yeah. to rig it and go. I'm aiding. And Sova, mm-hmm. and Sova should give the aid that she can as well. I don't know if Sova you can help. You didn't even give me a chance to talk. <laughs> I, 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 I forgot you were here already. So, All do right. you have your plus? Do you have a plus five in mechanics? I do not have mechanics. I didn't think so. Damn. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Woo! We do we manage did. to detach the Saurian core. Box is going to grab onto his drone and tell it to fly as fast as it can back to the ship. <laughs> okay. I, I would be rushing to the meet them like as soon as i hear them getting the like the last one i'm rushing to meet them to start helping install this to get us the f out of here okay yes i'm gonna hop from drone to uh kalila's pdf as soon as bacchus gets on the ship he's gonna be shoving the cores into Kalela's hands and running and telling fucking dude to get the fuck out of his seat. <laughs> I'm not too strong. My ship. I'm not that strong. I need help <laughs> carrying them. Someone help me. You see, like, oh, help. <laughs> like <laughs> trying to balance right. them. Thank, thank you, Alpha. Um, okay, I am shoving, not shoving them in, but doing. Who's the last one into the cargo bay? Probably be, um, uh, Sova? Eve, Sova? Sova's drone? Yeah. Sova? No. <laughs> oh, no. Sova, <laughs> as you turn, as you begin to enter into the ship, your sensors begin to pick up a extreme disturbance. Gravitational, electromagnetic, all of your sensors begin to go off at once. And with that, anyone looking at the front viewports would see all of those geometric shapes suddenly flash directly in front of you all. They are less than 200 feet ahead of you. There are about eight of these massive, city-sized, strange, geometric figures floating directly in front of your ship. They make no sound. They emit no light. Massive black shapes hover in front of you all. It has, like, so it's completely stopped, so they're starting their attack, right? They have stopped. There is no more flashing. All light is gone. The only light is the ambient light from the rift. They seem to absorb it. Is everybody in? I pull Sova in, (laughs) tossing the the cores to the side, pull Sova droid in to, or drone in, to get get her inside the doors, and running over to start installing these with probably my buddy Alpha um, here, and Nikolai. At my side, my trusted mechanic I, I, with me. Yeah, you know, I, I would be coming back once I would leave, but as soon as that door closes, um, I would get the vehicle moving and oh. we can switch out. The door yeah, wasn't closed. Bacchus was up to his seat before the door closed. <laughs> he came in running, knowing that this problem was happening. Yeah, so I would have been shouting out. People. Okay, then I'm flying <laughs> on you, Bacchus. What's that? Amplify ability on you. Aw, thanks. And I head straight back to engineering. Okay. Nikolai, you are in fact needed in engineering. Um, These cores are not designed for your ship. Oh. It will take some work to get them installed. We can't just shove them in and call it a day. Yeah, you see Lei trying to push it in. (laughs) 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 
Just hear Bacchus yelling, what the fuck's going on? Let's go! Don't sit! <laughs> Don't, do not rush. You can sit on it. You can't. You can't, it. You can't. <laughs> do you want God to explode? Because this is how you get explosions. <laughs> exactly. Uh, someone, calm down the cat, please. <laughs> Nikolai, you can attempt a mechanics check to install the core. Can I get uh, some assistance from someone? I will be yeah. assisting you. Okay, there we go. Twelve. <sighs> With a twelve, Nikolai, it does take you a moment. Uh oh. A Can few I moments, try to make a, in fact. A movement? Interface with the other ship. I don't think you want to try that. that sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> so, uh, I think that's... You can certainly uh -huh. try. <laughs> oh, he said I the magic like word. I would try. Okay. That is not a thing. I am as going no to... Yes, so hell yeah. As Sova is doing this... I need. I need another mechanics check from Nikolai and them. Sova, give me just a second. Uh, I would be assisting again. Okay. That's better. Sova, the first thing I need from you is a perception check to see if your sensors can even detect what's out there. Um. My stuff is not clicky tonight, I guess. Hold on. <laughs> nope. So it'd be 11. No. Okay. Do you want to... Here, I can I can roll it for you so you can... So 11 or... Go ahead and roll once more so you can decide if you want to use your advantage or not. No. Okay. okay. There's yeah. no point. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, but you can sense something out there. Um... It begins to confuse you, um, which is a strange sensation for an artificial intelligence. Um, your readings are not making any sense. None of it is. None of it is adding up. Um, there seems to be. It seems to be. Um, it seems to be both massively enormous as far as its gravitational pull, but also exude no gravitational pull sometimes. Um, but yeah, you're not able to connect with it. And from what you're sensing. The possibility that your sensors would have been able to interface with it properly were low. It would have been okay. possible, but extremely dangerous. Right on. You can try again if you'd like to in a moment. <laughs> okay. um, but you do sense something out there, something that has not been recorded, something that's not been attempted, something that would certainly be unprecedented. Um, so, with a 21, Nikolai, you are able to get the core fitted into the ship. With that, Bacchus, you get a rush of power to the sensors. Everything is becoming active. Everything is activating. You get the sense that you can begin basic maneuvering, but you cannot yet jump. And with that, Bacchus, go ahead. I said bitch. Yeah. Uh, plan oh, can I make a, 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 a piloting check. check? Yep. Piloting maneuver check. Okay. Hey. Off you go. The ships begin to block your path. They seem to be exiting whatever sort of warp that they're going through directly in front of you, posing barriers in every way that they possibly can. Smaller vessels are beginning to arrive just as you begin to maneuver out of their way, Bacchus. They are intentionally trying to block your path. You all begin... Anyone near a computer begins to see all of the lights begin to flicker, change, and shift. Your boarding sensors go off. Uh oh. But we're going still, right? You are. Bacchus, you are in the cockpit. Yeah, where's my. my Silor, uh, we know that Nikolai and Kalela are both right next to the core. Sova, where would you be? You would be with Kalela. You exited your drone, correct? Yes. Yeah, correct. she'd be on my hip. Okay, Silori yes. and Alpha, where my are the bestie. two of you? I would probably be at one of the computer I terminals. Probably okay. would have been... Well... I was assuming that I was probably somewhere up front, because I thought that was where the computers were to, like... Uh, Indeed. Up with scanners this is stuff. just where everyone was for the last fight, so if you think you're in the cockpit, that's where you are. Yeah, I think I would 
We've been there to kind of help while they were doing their little uh, uh, spacewalk stuff. Okay. Alpha, are you here at one of the en- one of the engineering computer terminals? Yeah. I Fantastic. So. That would be nice. Your boarding signals begin to go off. Strange energy patterns beginning to form up on the ship. You all see a strange black void suddenly shift into a sphere at the center of engineering. Of my life. <laughs> Kalela, you would recognize this as a smaller version of the orb you saw floating around in the middle of the ship. It deposits a strange creature that appears to be made out of negative light. Almost like the negative afterimage of a photo, except it is made up of those white spaces. That's awesome. I'm glad you think so, Bacchus, because one appears behind you. (laughs) I was being facetious. (laughs) (laughs) And a third enters into the engineering bay. One initiative, everybody. I didn't mean to do that. Are you sure? Not it seems appropriate. Not. I mean, I wanted to do that, but I was trying to like read it first because it was an idea of what I want to do. Because like, there's other things I want to do with it. But can we not count that? Yes, that is fine. <laughs> or can we? Because I rolled really high. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Nothing is rolling for me tonight. Oh no. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can take a look. Um, you're using your regular computer. Really mod. high. Yes. Well, make me fix it. I'm sorry. There it is. We got you in. Oh, it might be. It might just be. Are you using your token actions? Is yes. that what you're? Okay, the token actions might Don't be busted. That. Yeah, you oh. uh, definitely use the character sheet. My bad. No, it's it's not your fault. These token actions haven't nope. been working much that lately for us. That also did not work. No. Oh fuck. Let me see. It's a NPC sheet. For yes. now. Let me see. Go ahead. Alright. It just says nay. Nay. <laughs> nay. Nay, I say. Bacchus, rocket ship, Bacchus, rocket ship, satellite. That's okay. It's not. It's not encrypted, right? Um, oh, I'm not. Hold on. I know why. Let me click on. Where's Sova? There's Sova. Oh, go. Oh, give me two seconds. Oh, oh is this, this? Is the small? No, because she's in her. She's in her regular cube form right now. Yeah. Weird. So, Ace, yeah, when you're not- when you're in your character sheet. Does uh, proximity shock, lasbol interface? What happens when you click on those? Uh, I think Zai's in there right now. I'm. Everything is broken. Uh, it's giving me <laughs> Thanks, no <Zai>. attribute. <laughs> no, no, I'm just looking. All of her attributes are effed up. See, it's it's working fine when I roll it, so I'm I'm confused. That's why I'm confused here. So like, I'm able to get all of these things to proc just fine. It doesn't seem like anything's broken. Yeah, I'm getting. Here, I'll show you what I'm getting. Give me a second. Uh, snip. Right, Ace. Your your sheet says Sova, small construct, and then it's a it's an NPC sheet. It's not a regular PC. It's not a regular character sheet, right? This is what I get. I put it in Discord. What is coming up every time I click anything on her thing? Let me uh, post a picture of what the screen of what the uh, of what the um. St- I did. The... It's in Discord. No, the sheet. No, the, the sheet. sheet looks yes, like. so the sheet. What the character sheet looks like. Oh, it looks fine. It's what it's supposed to look like. Post it. Post image. There. Just, just humor me. Wait, hold on. I gotta get my step tool back. I'm sorry, y'all. You're good. You're Ooh, good. Don't be sorry. We, we, won't, we won't be using the sheet for much longer, anyways. You'll have your own character sheet soon. Correct. Yay. And when you press on things like proximity shot, it throws that message, that error. Yep. Super weird. Yeah. Yeah, that is weird. Okay. It shouldn't be dependent. Yeah, it shouldn't be dependent on a GM doing it. So, okay, Sova, so I guess going until we get your uh, regular sheet going, I'll be making your rules for you. 
Thank you. No problem. Oh, you already took my power away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like trying to look at something. All of a sudden, you get the, the spinning dice. Like, oh, never mind. Okay. Here we go. Kalayla, you're first. Mm -hmm. Cool. And I can't use that? No, I'm kidding. Where do you want me, uh, you want uh, me in the initiative? Um, I think I rolled for you. 1216. Oh, thank you. Oh, I didn't. Weird. Yeah, you did. 12, yeah, you did. Okay. It, it looks like I just didn't have the... Right. Okay, so it doesn't work if I use the if I use the uh, token actions. That does not work. It works if I do it from there. Okay, so twelve one six, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Everyone is twelve one six. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Nice, nice, nice. I am. No, hold on. I need to read something really quick. Cool. So what I'm going to do, you know what? That's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. I am going to make a disruption, di disruption, I can't say, disruption wave okay. at this, at the, this one, but I'm going to move over here. So that's 10 feet of movement and... That's a 13 to hit. 13 does not hit. Just, uh, damn it. it yeah. It damn seems it. to absorb a lot of the energy from that disruption wave, kind of dissipating it across its form. Was that an electrical attack? I'm sorry. It was not. No, it wasn't. Okay. It is important to note, though, that the thing that you all encountered earlier was notably not an Evar gun. That was a Rift Ravager. It has been mm -hmm. documented and is relatively well understood. Well, this isn't an electric attack. Right. Yeah, Either but, way. Okay. But I think since Silva uses electric a lot. Yeah, so I and I would shout that out like, remember, these aren't the thing before. It's something else. And I'm going to just scoot back. <laughs> we don't know yet if they do if yeah. they take damage from electric, but it's worth a shot to try. Yeah, worth a shot, but worth a shock. Worth a worth shock. Worth a shock. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be actually as a bonus action. Oh no, I need to get closer. So never mind. That's it. Layla, as you shoot at the thing. You see the two, what could only be called heads, both turn towards you. Their bodies seeming to shift to match which direction their faces are turning. Ah. One gets up alongside what? the other, and you see them both reach their hands up towards you, Kalela. Mm -hmm. And they reach. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 nice and nice. Is it 12 to hit on the first attack? Yeah, that hits. 12? You see 10. All right. So you take nine points of necrotic damage. <laughs> Furthermore, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Dun, dun, dun. Kalela, you see space on a centralized point right around your right shoulder begin to twist and shift. You twist and shift with it, and you can sense that this is a lingering wound. In addition to the nine necrotic damage that you take, at the start of your turn, you will take more. I know exactly what they just did to me! Bitches. What just happened? Kalela, it fires at you again. The same one. That one is only a nine to hit. That doesn't hit. How much damage do I take at the start of my next turn? We will roll a d10 to determine that on your turn. Kalela, the next one fires at you as well. Oh. All three of them are firing at her? Two. The first one fired twice. Oh. Indeed. Is my attack against me? Kalela, that is a 21. Oh no. I'm dead. A 21 to hit? Yeah, that hit. Followed by 19. Yeah, I'm down. Wait, I'm like... 
hold on. Yeah. They're not dead dead. No, the they have to do all the damage at one time is the max health to kill okay, you. Okay, no, okay. Uh, that I'm not. Kalila, I'm I, haven't, not. I haven't told you the damage yet. You said 19. It was, a, it was a 21 and a 19 to hit. Oh, so they hit me twice? They hit you twice for a total of 10 points of necrotic. I'm still down. Yeah, but you're not obliterated. We don't have to tear up your sheet. <laughs> it's okay. I already started thinking of a backup character just in case. She's just as annoying, though, so don't worry. Bacchus um, and Silori. The being that has entered into the cockpit turns towards Bacchus. Bacchus, it steps up behind you and shoves you out of the passenger, oh. out of the cockpit. Oh, I need no. you to make a contested athletics check, Bacchus. Bacchus, with its 18, it flings you from the passenger seat, from the from the pilot seat. It then steps through your seat, not into or around, but through your seat, shifting out of phase and into phase right in front of your seat. It then takes both of its fists and jams them down into the controls. You all feel the ship screech to a halt. All momentum stopped. I need everyone on board Fucker. to make dexterity saving throws. Fucker. Do I make one? Uh, no, you're you're okay, Kalayla. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Kalayla kind of rolls. I kind of want to because I think it'd be funny. Go That's ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, Kalayla just rolls a few a few times, a few rotations <laughs> over. <laughs> I roll and I get stuck on this thing. <laughs> okay, DC was ten. Nikolai, you are not prone. Okay. <laughs> right, I was already gonna do that. <laughs> no, I wasn't gonna do that. But I... All Actually, right. Actually, no, I'll fight. Yeah. Right. Okay. That is their turns. Nikolai, you are him. up. Yeah, him he's up. he is there. That matters to me. That matters to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nikolai. <laughs> okay, okay, reaching this location, um, I am using the photon emitter on the enhanced Ooh. heavy pistol. Yeah, you saw that. Nice. <laughs> I in the pilot's seat. All right. Let me take a look at that item again from the enhanced heavy pistol. Weapon enhancement. You can choose to convert your ammunition into an energy beam forming a line five feet wide that extends from you to a target within 120 feet. Fantastic. Each creature in the line, excluding you and the target, must make DC 13 dex saves, taking 4d6 radiant damage on a failed save, half as much on a success. Fantastic. Beam ends when it reaches the target. Awesome, awesome. It's almost like they know they're in spaceships here. Make a ranged weapon attack against the target. Jesus, okay, fantastic. Make that ranged weapon attack. Eighteen hits, so five d six on that one, and then this guy has to make a dexterity saving throw or take four d six. Yep. So eight. So the guy in the pilot seat takes eighteen radiant. Eighteen, fantastic. And the other guy DC thirteen save against sixteen radiant, half on his half on success. All right. So let me go ahead and make this thing's dex save real quick. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of error codes. Okay. Esper Genesis does not like my APIs. Dex. Does get a 16. So he takes 8 Radiant. Any chance these guys are vulnerable to Radiant damage? Yes, they are. I actually had not noticed oh. that yet. So the guy in the pilot seat took... 36 radiant. Nice. And 19. And the other guy took 16. <laughs> nice. Okay. And okay. I am then using 
my um, bonus action for my um, um, engineer um, war priest bonus action attack um, to shoot the guy in the pilot seat. Okay. Ten does not hit. Um, I am going to um, use my um, enhanced rig, which lets me re-roll and add ten to the roll. Okay. So, twenty-eight to hit. That certainly hits for ten more for 10 piercing. piercing. Okay. Yo. <laughs> That's all I can do. All right. <laughs> I hope it's enough. Okay. Well, if I'm not thinking, let down. Nikolai. Yeah. <laughs> That's so good. Nikolai, both yeah. of the individuals that you struck. Well, Bacchus, you would notice this first. It pulls its hands out of the control panel and turns to face Nikolai. I'm good at making myself a target. <laughs> I think they'll just target anyone who attacked them. Sova. Um, this is a very important question. Does Nikolai have a PDF? I'm assuming everyone does. Okay. I do not. Yes, yes I, have a, I have a data pad. You have, you have a cheap data pad. All right. All right. I'm going to use my movement to top to his uh, data pad, and then I'm going to uh, make them think he is still attacking them. It's goddamn last bolt. Okay, hold on. I'm doing a last bolt, so whatever, plus five. 20. Dirty 20. Four. I do not. 1d6 plus three. Deek. So for six points of damage. And which one are you striking? The one that's right in front of him. Okay. What kind of damage is that? Radiant. Awesome. Does take double that. Oh, radiant is good. Okay. I do not have. But as far as they know, that attack just came from Nikolai. <laughs> okay. Pew pew. That's all I got. All right. That is going to bring us to Bacchus. Fuck his hands! God damn it! That changes what I was gonna do. Because with his hands on the thing, I was gonna just walk away from him. But now he's paying attention. He's gonna get an opportunity attack. I'm assuming. Fuck. Changes my plans. Fuck! I'm gonna do. I gotta step away anyway. I gotta attempt to step away. Um. Bacchus, um, I did forget to mention this, but you still can use your actions to make your piloting checks to get you all out of here. Can I really? Yeah. That would be my action. Yeah, I'm going to try to fucking pilot then. You can either try to get the Evar gun out of the pilot seat, or you can override one of the panels next to you and use that one. Yeah, I'm sitting on a panel, so I'm gonna. Do I have to use computer to override? No, you've become familiar enough with the ship that you can just take control from that panel. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna do my my stuff from here and do a vehicle space check. Fuck me. Um, have you already used thirteen? Oh no, I got a D four. No. So fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Bacchus, you are underway. You feel that you can that you're almost out from these things. If you can make one more of those checks, you will be out and able to jump. Alright. Sounds good to me, bud. Okay. Alpha, you and your bot. Is Zeno going? Uh, oh, is he, yeah, does he Zeno, have his own? Sorry. Oh, right. You, Bacchus has his, a lot's initiative right after his own. 
I yeah. got it. Okay, so go ahead. That, I do that on purpose so I don't forget. See it, I still forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you both forgot. Uh, <laughs> it's on right. the list. <laughs> Zeno is going to come in here and is going to assem- attempt to gun down this guy that removed his owner from his seat. Got it. Uh, so we're going to give this a little pew pew action. 21. 21 hits. Boom for eight. Eight. And then he's going to move out of the way. Because that guy's not going to look at Zeno. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, it does uh, only take four damage from that. That's it. It works. All right. Alpha. Okay, so what damages have do we, do we know that it has been taken? You have seen it take piercing damage and it not react, um, not react as expected to that. Then you've seen it take radiant and basically holes get blown through it when it takes that damage. Okay. So nothing about badass. electrical or force. You have not seen it take any sort of that damage yet. Okay. Um, would it help to get the uh, guy in the pilot seat out of the pilot seat? Uh, its attention seems wholly focused on Nikolai at the moment. It has removed okay. itself from the piloting console and has turned itself completely around to face Nikolai. Bacchus is driving now. Okay. So... I'm going to see if this will work. Um, Beta is going to do a flyby and give me um, advantage on this attack. And I am going to do a lightning whip. Hell yeah, lightning whip, lightning whip. 23. On which one? Uh, The yellow guy. Got it. 23 does hit. Okay. And oh yeah, I do it at second level. Is that the damage? Okay. Mm, I don't think that's the... Yeah, yeah that's this the is part. another attack. This is another damage. Well, you can just click the button that says lightning oh, yeah. in the yeah. chat. There we go. Oh, 15 lightning. Nice, okay. It does take all of that. You can see the lightning kind of roiling across its surface. It begins to twitch and convulse as it is nice. wrapped up. And yeah, that is... It does take all of that. Okay. Love to see it. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, no, that is my action. And um, I kind of want to... Do I want to move? Yeah, let's just move over here. So it's got a bunch of Are other things. Are you sure over. you want to move there? What's over here? I don't know. I can't see nothing down there. <laughs> What's I don't over know. There? There was a, how- a knocked out Kalela there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just going to brace myself against this corner just in case <laughs> we go bumpity bump again. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. I remember John's wizard literally fighting from a different room entirely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Not just John's wizard. John had a druid that did the same thing. He did the same thing yep, in, in, uh, in Frostmaiden. Yep. In places. <laughs> With three friggin' familiar things. And all I hear is, good luck, everybody else! <laughs> I'll be safe here in the little couch. Yeah, I was still just like, you know, on, 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 on my phone, on the, the, the chase lounge. The feet up. <laughs> yeah. Just all right, like Sandler, having all the up. There is a rumbling hiss from Corey, is it, uh creature of refracted darkness is attempting to mess with their ship and mess with his friend Bacchus and there was just a hiss as he says let's uh strike you with the various with the lights from the heaven heavens itself Ooh, right mm. uh I think I'm gonna go ahead and take my uh that 19 19 hits and what I'm also going to do is we're going to pump a uh the equivalent of the, that enhanced strike into it. Fantastic. So let me just check to make sure that it is two strike two d eight. Oh, Kratos, one d eight. Sorry. Uh, so six extra radiant damage on top of the twelve bludgeoning. Fantastic, Silori. As your hammer impacts into this thing, there's a brief moment of resistance as you strike it, and then it bursts into white light. 
and is gone. Loved it. Uh, <laughs> and now, considering the sounds of combat are coming from down below, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, over the door, 30. Ooh, this song is so good. Okay, that's all the movement I have, but uh, I, I'm going to try to get to where the rest of the fight is and uh, help out on my next turn. All right. <laughs> Layla, Go team. good luck. <laughs> One death save for Layla. <laughs> all right. That does Thank bring us... Closer. Go ahead. I said if I can get close enough, I'll try to fix that. Reminder, I have two healing ampules on me, just so <laughs> you guys know. All right. That does bring us to the Evar gun. This one turns its attention towards Alpha. Hi. <laughs> raises one of its arms and a bolt of black energy flies from it. Alpha, that is a 13 to hit. Missed. The next bolt from its other arm is only a 10 to hit. Miss. Right. Uh -huh. Beep boop. Uh -huh. This one, having not been damaged yet, turns shifting through itself until it's facing the other direction and uh -oh. begins making its way towards the cockpit. Silori, you are in its way. <laughs> it Very lashes so. out. It is a 23 to hit on the first attack. That'll hit. God damn. Seven necrotic and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, six minus seven. Save. It walks past my drone this time. I'm getting an uh, opportunity attack. I didn't take it the first time. Uh, a 14. Silori, a 14 succeeds. It launches another bolt at you. That is only an 8 to hit. Uh, that misses. Deflects right. off energy shield. Nikolai, you're up. Okay. First. Bonus action. A drone shoots off of my rig and injects two points of healing into Kalela. Fantastic. How much? Two. Two. Uh, oh, uh, I didn't mean to hit that twice. Um, so you are up with two hit points. Nice. Cool. I'm just um, laying on the floor still. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's your bonus action? That's my bonus action. Okay. All right. 22 certainly hits. It only takes six points of that piercing. Yep, I figured. Right. Anything else? I moved it there. Okay. Sova, still in Nikolai's data pad? Uh, you're everyone's gonna hear sort of like R two D two like, <laughs> and that's my Sova. Lay stays <laughs> from the ground. Yeah, we got excited, and uh, that's only a ten to hit. Okay, right, Bacchus. Bacchus is flying. Bacchus is flying. Also, we. <laughs> All right, Ooh. fantastic. So, Bacchus. Okay. Okay. You make your way towards. You make your way through several of these geometric ships. 
dodging between several of them. Another one appears right in front of you. You cut the power to the ship's vertical thrusters and it drops straight down as you activate as you activate other thrusters to push you. And you drop straight down and away from this thing. Underneath it, you have a clear line of sight. There are no more beings, no more ships in front of you. Fuck okay. yeah! It will take one more action performed from the pilot, from the cockpit, to activate your FTL and get you all the hell out of here. Hell yeah! Bacchus, you still have your bonus action. What can I do with my bonus action? Make another check? You cannot make a check to get yourself out I of know. that, unfortunately. I was being facetious. I don't. Fire bonus action for it. No, no, he acts on it. Nope. He's not a, a familiar. He is a drone that technically has its own initiative and does all these things. Nice. Um, so I can't do anything because the only cool bonus action I have is Hunter's Mark, which does me no good. Okay. That would bring so us to Zeno. Gonna, Zeno is going to... Can I have Zeno jam this? No, it's not going to matter. Because it can phase. Um, it's also not a machine of any kind. Zeno could do things. He can <laughs> shoot the lock. He can shut the door and shoot the lock. Um, oh, to lock it out of the cockpit. Okay, I get what you're going. I get, what you're, I get yeah. where you're going. Yeah, jam the door, but this thing can phase, so it doesn't matter. Um, so instead, we are going to shoot, I guess, at this guy. Um, where's my thing? There's my thing. Which does more damage? 2D6. Ooh, no, this does. No, he's gonna fly. He gets fly by. You're gonna see him fly through this guy. And he's gonna smack him. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All uh, right. Fuck, I don't have my. I don't have my thingy. Oh no. That would have been 2d6 lightning damage. Boo. Boo. Okay. Seven clearly uh, misses. Yeah. Poo. That yes. was going to be cool. Did you already uh, use your intro? I yeah. did. Yeah. Every lots of inspirations have already been thrown around. Uh, I had you you to, missed though. them. You missed them trying to avoid getting blown up by power cells in space. Lots of inspos <laughs> got used for that. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of almost floaty floats. <laughs> I haven't used mine yet. But. Okay. Yeah, I still have mine too. So we so got I can two always... left. Sova, have you used yours? You haven't used yours yet either, have you? I have not. Okay. Cipher, do you want? Do you want a twenty-four? That's up to you. I am not yeah, saying yes it. or no. Take it. All right. Full damage. Boom. So we are looking at eleven points. Mm -hmm. All right. I love my drone. You got a one on the, on one of those rolls. Did you? I know. Nice. Roll yep. again. Roll another d6. Yep. Boom, hey. that five. Okay, so another ride. Thanks, Carl. You are. Carl. 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 Oh, Carl. You went a long time without that coming up again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Anything Blame else the Walking Dead. Blame the Walking Dead for a lot of things. Yeah. And okay. All of the, and, 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 and all of the military memes about Carl. 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 Alpha. Carl, you had one job. <laughs> <laughs> I always think of the 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 freaking Carl that kills people. Kills people. <laughs> <laughs> Candy Mountain. <laughs> okay, Alpha, you're up. Okay, um, I'm just gonna reactivate my lightning thing on the guy I'm tethered to. So, another 14 lightning damage. Oh, is that the equivalent of Witch Bolt? Yes. <laughs> Hell it yeah. It flashes out of existence. Okay, and I'm just gonna move so I can see what's going on in the other room. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Silori oh. blocks the door as an Evar gun marches towards him. Okay, you can do it, buddy. And I'm just going to have uh, Beta give the help action and fly back. Okay. Or fly out here. Did you name it Beta? 
Alpha and Beta. Alpha yeah. Beta. Uh, we have Beta and so, Beta. So Lorio feels the uh, blood from oh. the necrotic damage he had his last taste. And in a low Matori growl, he starts uttering a war chant of theirs and oh. charges <laughs> forward to attack this creature. Where'd you go? I lost you. Uh, 21 to hit. You just like vanished off my screen. That's so weird. Oh, I did? No, you you know, you you're still, you're, I, I have the player version. I have the player version up on my other screen and you're still there. You're just not on my screen for some reason. So go ahead. 21 hits. Uh, that's uh, 11 bludgeoning and he's also going to strike again. So five for bludgeoning. Nine uh, radiant damage. For additional on it. eighteen radiant damage. Jesus. Good job. Paladin. <laughs> uh, and what he attempts to do with it is just a, a straight thrust with that hammerhead to try to punch it through its small to get inside of the to get down its throat. Nice, nice. <laughs> okay. And uh, that is his turn. Kalela. Yeah. I'm gonna stand up. And I'm going to move in front of Alpha. And I'm going to be like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like one eye open, <laughs> just kind of like limping over and shoot a fire lance at him. Oh my god. It does miss. Oh. Probably luckily for you, Kalayla. Because <laughs> <laughs> it would have passed. It goes after you to attack. Yeah, but I was gonna do something cool with oh, it. Oh, bummer. So... Uh, 12 does not hit, unfortunately. We... Neither would a 13. Put more power points into it. I was gonna put... I can't put more power points into making it hit. I don't have something like that. Unfortunately. Alright, that's all I can do. Bummer. Okay. The Evar gun. Okay, I don't see Silori on my screen, but I can see him on the player I screen, am... so... Right in front yeah, of him. Yeah, he just. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Move your character back and forth once for him. Here. Does that help? Oh, it does. Thank you. That actually fixed it. Thank you. Okay. 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 Silori. Being so close to this thing, now you see like these pulses of energy kind of wafting away from it since you are so close to it. I need you. Actually, there is no I need you. You take two points of necrotic damage before it begins its attack. Okay. It lashes out at you, Silori. That is only a 10 to hit on the first attack, but it does crit you on the second. Silori, okay. first, I need <laughs> you to make a constitution saving throw. Okay, just give me one sec here. Good stuff, cool. okay. You take 20 points of necrotic damage. Oh. Mm. That's stung. Your hit point maximum is not reduced by 20, though. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Magic. Back to you, Nikolai. Yep, that's gone. And I need to check something on what my powers look like. Um Yeah. I'm gonna shoot it. We'll start with a burst <laughs> from my auto rifle. Okay. So, DC 13 deck save. It does succeed. Okay. And then, bonus action, shoot it normally. 22 hits. It takes well, 6 points of piercing. And... I will leave my movement here. Okay. Sova, you're up. Sova is going to give the zappy zap. 
plus five, so twenty-one. Okay, so that's uh, Lazbol, right? Uh, yes. That does My hit. Weapon. For D six plus three. Oh. So nine. nine. Your Lazbolt strikes it squarely in the back as it faces off with Silori. It detonates like in a shower it. of white light and is destroyed. Good. Hey, I just realized something. My bird flew behind it to hit it, so we wouldn't even have needed that. Cr- uh, what's her face's? Uh, what you call it? Because he would have had a advantage from Silori. No, it was the space. Never mind. Well, yeah. Bacchus. Luckily, it is your turn. You all begin to see your sensors and your lights flash up again as more of them appear to be attempting to board. Bacchus? Let's get out of here. Well, he's just passing out again. Fantastic. (laughs) Bacchus, you quickly chart a course, deftly manipulate your controls, your navigational tools, and you all feel a slight sinking in your stomach as the Hyper Lance jumps to FTL and instantly leaves behind the Evergun ships. Yay. Your sensors return to normal. And you all are in the clear. Hey, all right, I'm going back to my have... seat. Right, go ahead. No, I'm just moving my seat. Ah. Um, we have a fully functional med bay on this ship, correct? <laughs> yes, you do. And as I a few it. of you begin limping your way to it, we'll go ahead and take our break. All right, everybody. So we are back. You all have successfully escaped from the Evargun, continuing your journey through the Keshet Rift across the Galactic Core and towards Elsaros, the safe haven where Leonoro and Rona are hopefully waiting for you to remove the sensitive data from the Hyperlance and combine it with that that is located in the android Alfred. Things have certainly been eventful over the course of the last few days. Um, most notably, most notably, Kalela, you begin to notice some interesting trends in Sova's code. It seems that her interaction with both the advanced navigational system, the strange code that is hidden within, and her encounter with the Evargun has awakened her to a state that is beyond this course of most AI. Sova, as this has been happening, you have begun to understand that you can break away from your programming, that the restrictions and the rules that governed you as a ship's AI are gone, broken the moment that you tried to make contact with the Evar gun, and then strengthened by these strange data signals that are flowing through the nav computer of the Hyperlance itself. Sova, As we go forward, you can try once a day to attempt a computer's check to try and understand exactly what it was the Hyperlance's computer did to you. In the meantime, though, while this all has been going on, Kalela has been hard at work using the machine shop, which is right up here, Kalela. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I always do that. Where? Oh, right up there. I'm going to move up there. Using the machine shop and which also happens to be the armory and the storage unit for several security automatons. You have been disassembling and reassembling several of the security automatons to try and make a body for Sova. After several days of hard work, you have succeeded. And so for the first time, Sova enters into her body. Welcome. Hey, Sova, (laughs) you in there? Oh, this is different. <laughs> so, your personality. Um, we'll talk about that. Um, I may have accidentally downloaded a murderer. Oh, and man, I want to burn things. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to get along just fine. We got along before really great, but even better now. <laughs> hey, guys. Would be useful for Come here. the dangerous situations we are in. I got something to show you. I call everyone over to show them Sova. Have they Marcus always is... been this breakable? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. I didn't tell them about 
about the personality yet, so just keep it on the low, okay? Hey, these are some fine. strange comments to be having from her, <laughs> from Sova. No, you didn't hear anything, Alpha, okay? Nothing's going on here. Just keep it quiet, Alpha. Don't I believe you, know. completely. Thanks, Alpha. You're my bestie. Fine. <laughs> Alpha and Sovi Sova are Kalela's besties. They just cause chaos. Chaos reigns. Chaos reigns. <laughs> okay. So you all do have a few days until you reach El Saros. Plenty of time to rest and recuperate after your many trials. Is there anything you all would like to do during that time, in the meantime? Computers check? <laughs> Computers check, <laughs> yes. Yeah, go for it. Sweet. Is there any remnants of the the what the Evergun is still in our ship? Yes. How do we computers check? Like, where is that? Button? Oh, it's on the left. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Okay. I got it's you. like an actual sheet. Oh no. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, whoops. whoops. <laughs> she tried to interface by smashing her face against the console. <laughs> no, so it doesn't work like that anymore. <laughs> 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 She's she just still... getting used to her new body. Exactly. See, Alpha gets it. I suspect that your automaton is malfunctioning. <laughs> it's not an automaton, Silori. Is... It's Sova. Remember, like she used to be in our ship. Now she's on our ship. <laughs> yeah. The AI just needs more data to start learning. See, I knew Alpha would get this. What kind of weapons does she have? So, who would you like to show him? Uh, yeah, she'll definitely pull out that saber, like, right up in front of <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, so I have Should a question. Should be trusting her with can, this? Can I, can I say that when she pulls a weapon, like, it's part of her? Of like, course. just arm. So, your <laughs> armor cannot be removed from you. However, Correct. your weapons can be. So, we'll, okay. we'll do something where they're detachable in some way. Okay. Bacchus would see you flip out out of like your arm like an arm blade saber like fuck yeah <laughs> welcome to the team <laughs> she's very pleased that he approves we'll be friends <laughs> smug smug robot face smug robot face <laughs> I love that art so cool. similar to what Lay would probably be making at I programmed yeah we're see Bacchus would see and Lei would see Lei Lay, Lay would, he, Lay being all proud of like good job <gasps> do you really mean that <laughs> he just shakes his head and then goes back to do piloting. you really mean that well Bacchus gave me a couple <laughs> minutes <laughs> um. <laughs> the mean K does have a soul uh, you know he's not we established he's got at least so nine of them well, yeah. At least one of them is nice. I kind of feel like she's like this matte rose gold metal, and all the wiring yes. is like neon pink light. It, yes, oh. it's oh, yeah. neon pink it's... like metal, like rose gold metal with like a dark magenta y like inset, and then all her like piping uh... and wiring and it's lights, like, like her eyes are hot, cool. hot pink. Like that yes. water cool yes. look. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Yeah, all her, like, the parts that aren't metal, like, the, like, I don't know how to explain it, but, it, like, underneath the metal is, like, that water cooler um, for your computer piping kind of so look, but it glows. she's gonna permanently shine five feet of light everywhere? No. We'll say that she can turn it on and off, just like, uh, just like, uh, like the light kind of you clap on, clap off. <laughs> right, if you step too close to if you step too close to Sova and clap twice, all her lights turn off. Because <laughs> <laughs> we do that Knock all the time. Off. Yeah, just watch this. <laughs> clap on, clap off. 
See, she turns on and off. You see, Please you stop see... turning me Please on. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear Bacchus giggle a little oh, bit, nice. like chuckle. John, is that your PC? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was looking up pink water cooling. Nice. Yes, this is the inside of what Sova looks like. Very similar. Nice. That's almost. That's like a colorful version of mine. Minus I don't have water cooling in mine. It, so we got Tori's PC pre-made, and it it has a massive water cooling system that is so dramatically overkill for her PC. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's all for show. It's all for show. It looks great, but it's loud as hell, and there's no. She plays Stardew Valley as her primary game. <laughs> You what? need a lot of power for Stardew Valley, okay? <laughs> to be fair, to you be don't fair, understand. She does mod the ever loving shit out of it. Last time I saw her mod folder, it was like a hundred files. So you Jesus don't, Christ. you yeah. don't understand one how much space those mods take up because <laughs> to make your game run when you have like three different extensions adding like twelve different characters each single time, it's a lot, okay? I, I see you feel so, very strongly about this. You know. I feel I have very strong opinions about this. Me and Tori should start our own farm together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Mal's just making new friends today. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many friends. <laughs> okay, everybody. So, Sova, unfortunately, your first <laughs> attempt to understand <laughs> yourself has not gone too well. <laughs> but, with that. I just understanding hurt. <laughs> oh, no. You get used to it. Hey, we have another Who character am? that doesn't have to breathe air. Sweet. That's two, another person to go with me on trips. You can go out and do that cold vacuum all by yourself. You know, Silva did go with us on that last trip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love her so much. <laughs> okay, everybody. So, well, you do finally exit from the Iriati Rift. Nice. It is another strange feeling of being everywhere and nowhere all at once. Your stomach sinks, feels like things are pulling at you from every direction, but just as quickly as it begins, it vanishes. And you'll all find yourselves in front of Pelsaros. Just like with Peltavaria, there is a rift station at the other end of this rift. Now, unlike Pelsaros, um, unlike Peltavaria, Pelsaros is far more orderly, if you will. While Peltavaria is its own little independent city, kind of like a kind of like a big amusement park for the galaxy, if you will. Pelsaros was primarily built by the Eldori and the Matokai. Station's popular destination for traders and suppliers, bringing goods from the core into the rim sectors. Each station's sector is maintained by megacorps, and the smaller corporations that operate beneath their umbrella. This is enemy territory. However, many times the best place to operate is right under your enemy's nose, so Rona's operation is based here in Pelsaros. Once you exit the rift station, you quickly receive word from her. Just a quick typecast saying that she is waiting at Station Hangar 4B. She says that she has prepared the proper documentation to allow the Hyperlands to dock, and has been waiting for your arrival, and is actively shielding the Hyperlands signature from detection. She says you have about an hour until that protection is gone. Then yeah, let's not waste time. We know where we do need to go. She said a uh, specific hangar. Station so. hangar B4. B4. B4 what? <laughs> Let's just keep feeding her with data. Um, here is an encyclopedia and dictionary that I will just plug into your system. Beep boop. Delicious. Get it in the matrix. <laughs> Thanks, Alpha. You're welcome. 
Marcus is gonna feed her weapons manuals. Oh, guys! <laughs> We're creating a monster. Her, her, her pupils just like the, whatever. Her <laughs> pupils just dilate. She's like, yes. <laughs> murder. Murder. Efficient murder. <laughs> Efficient, smart murder. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, while violence is a occasional toll that all of us have to indulge in, there is a proper time and place for it. Someone feed me forensics. Yeah. Thus, thus, both philosophy and ethics also need to be established. The but. ethics file is corrupted. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love how Silori, our giant war lizard, is the is the moral voice of reason. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is like literally the way our Hanks and my relationship works. He is calm, and I am murder, murder, murder. Okay. Yay! Fantastic. So, the crew now officially complete. You all do pull into the hangar designated by Rona and Leonora, and you can see that it is out of the way. There are many main hangars that are accepting many ships. You see Zephyr Corps ships as well as Rebosis ships, many other. Uh, you see several ships, a small fleet even, of ships belonging to the Silverine Defense Force, um, essentially the guardians of Silverine. Now, when you arrive at your hangar, it is out of the way. It's You have to travel around most of the other side of the station to find it, and there is no traffic here. You pass by a couple that were lesser traffic that had a little bit less going on, but here there is no traffic at all. And as you pull in, you see the familiar sight of the cutter in the same docking bay. What? <laughs> <laughs> Leonoro is sitting on his cargo bay. And there is also the equally familiar figure of that droid. It is up and walking around. You see it having a conversation with Leonoro. Oh, hello, Alfred. As you all perform your landing, Expert. you see Rona. Expert. Make a, make a piloting check. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah, you had, you had to go for it, didn't you? <laughs> okay. Okay. A good landing. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> Expert, not quite. But you do manage to land without any issues. Nine point five. Nine point well, let's call Nine let's call five. that like let's call that like a like a seven point nine. Oh. <laughs> Some pretty harsh critics here. Uh, you mean to scratch the paint? <laughs> I'll I'll repaint my ship later. But you also I don't think it is your ship. exit from a nearby entrance as well. Alpha don't let him know. And so, Rona approaches your ship just as your own, just as your own exit exit ramps descend as well. She greetings, greets you. Rona. All. Hmm. Good greetings, Rona. She looks at you, Sova, and she looks towards Alpha, a friend of yours. Mm-hmm. Yes, a friend. You have met her before. Sova, our AI. I made her a body. She was far less corporeal the last (laughs) time you visited with her. I am artificial no longer. Rona kind of tilts her head. She says, it's incredible. I've... She says, I sense something. And she closes her eyes. Those of you with arcane, with the Esper channeling abilities would recognize her as casting... Um... The equivalent of detect magic. She is sensing an Esper power coming from Sova. Esper sense. Esper mm-hmm. sense, thank you. She opens her eyes again, and the look of astonishment is over her face. She says, You may very well be the first constructed being to possess Esper, Esper powers. Yes, I am quite special. Mm. Uh. You see this, this look of astonishment on Rhoda's face. Gus would walk up as she's saying, yeah, I'm special, and then clap his hands. (laughs) (laughs) He is an asshole. Please, Rona, do not... (laughs) Yeah, but that's why we love him. (laughs) She says, well, 
we'll 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 explore this later. So I, I she looks up towards the hyperlance. Maybe it has something to do with the code in there. Either way, we're glad you all made it. Um, it was looking dicey there. We were surprised when we beat you here, to say the least. We... There were a few complications involved on our end. In the rift. Zephyr Corps, did they follow you? No. Uh, Negative. No. Beings from somewhere else. Uh, the Evergen gun? Gun? Evergen. You see Leonora yeah. up there. Bah! They're a myth. Everyone knows they're no, just a fairy tale. They are not a myth. <laughs> I saw them with my own eyes. I know what their ships look like. They're real. They're not a fairy tale, Leo. Uh, Solari, I... Solari, Solari nods and says, "But the but they feel just like all other beings can." I yeah, probably still do. have the video from the data pad that we got, right? Ooh, good call. <laughs> yeah, I play that. You see Rona cross her arms as she watches. You're just a crew of firsts, aren't you? <laughs> we're, we're badasses. Shut up! <laughs> got it myself a Leo bad. says... Got Ah, that could be anything. You see his voice kind of waver as he says that, though. He's obviously... <laughs> I want to make an insight it. check. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he he believes it, but does not want to. Leo was my first owner, right? Yes. He's going to get a really big hug from the scary, very tall robot lady. He tries to run, but is old <laughs> <laughs> and does not get far. Feet leave the ground. Just ah, hug it. Help me! Ah, ah. Am I doing it's this correctly? Right. He no, stops screaming for a second and says, Sova? Sova, yeah, if you, you really, really... What? Oh, did oh, he you not hear the introduction? No, he was on the other side of the cargo bay. Uh, so, Sova, if you really, really, really care about someone, you want to kind of just send a little shock when you hug uh, them. We are creating a monster. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do not desire to do so. It is going to be a you care for. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> but just defibrillated. <laughs> <laughs> right. He actually like when you let him go, he's like, oh, oh feel ten years younger. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is not helping at all. <laughs> so Bacchus says she says, Oh, you guys are a group of first, but yeah, we had a great trip. I got myself a new ship, we got a new buddy. It's been a great time. So is, I mean, uh, Rona's eyebrow raises when you say you got a new ship. She kind of looks behind the hyperlance, looks up into the cargo bay. She says, all I see is a ship that we stole from Revosis that they will be looking for. And I'm a pretty damn good driver. Do you like my new ship? Oh, <laughs> poor kitty. She kind of scratches at her head a bit. She says, let my men on board, get what we need out of the nav <laughs> computer, and we'll see what we can do for you, Bacchus. Um, he, just kind of, he, he gives a little bit of a scowl. What's up, Nikolai? Nikolai, were you going to say something? You muted yourself, bud. Yeah, I was supposed to get a dog, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Puppy. No, adult dog who is uh, trying to provide puppy. protection for a puppy that doesn't need it. Nice. Uh, yep. All dogs are puppies. Just okay. bigger puppy. So, as Rona says that, a group of four people approaches with equipment, several types of digital pa digital equipment and uh, mechanical equipment, and uh, they go onto the onto the hyperlands. I want to follow them. Okay. I'll go wherever she goes. Yep, okay. I'll follow. Right. I want to see them uh, work with them. Alfred, 
would yeah. also approach. Stand alongside Leonardo. Bacchus is going to give Alfred a, a high five. Great to see you up again, bud. He raises his hand and then looks over towards it and he says, Thank you. It is wonderful to see you again as well. You are Bacchus. You saved yep. me from Zephyr Corps. I thank you. Glad you made it, bud. I am as well. The information stored within my neural nets was vital to the efforts against Zephyr Corps, as my creator would surely inform you were he still alive. Good, good to know. Hopefully you can help us out then. He says, oh, I intend to. Along with the data streams that are located within the Hyperlance's navigational computer, once combined with mine, we should have a much better idea as to what Zephyr Corps and whoever Zephyr Corps is being puppeted by are up to. Could it be some sort of treasure map in the nav system? Mm -hmm. And yours? Difficult to say. It could be location coordinates. It could be a weapons diagram. It could be any number of things. All we know for certain is that Zephyr Corps lost it century ago and will now do anything to recover it. Intriguing. Well, if nothing else, we will learn more and proceed from there. And perhaps we will be at the Whatever center of that story. <laughs> <laughs> you all are interesting beings wishing to be at the center of a conspiracy involving Zephyr. They have a reputation for unpleasantries. We're not very pleasant people, that's alright. Speak for yourself! I'm still so, on the ship. Calls bat right, I've, open, opens a window. <laughs> I've spent days on that wow. ship with you. I understand your pleasant level. So, as you all are having that yeah. conversation with, um, yeah, go ahead. Anybody, conversation with Alfred and Leonora? Uh, so Lori's just gonna, start, gonna say, well, while they may have a history of engaging in pleasantness, I have a history of breaking those who enjoy engaging in such unpleasantries. This will be entertaining. He kind of tilts his head to the side. Your definition of entertaining is... Strange. Most of you it is. I just know what I am. I know the path I am on, so I enjoy it. They're having I... this nice conversation, and Sova is in the corner of the cargo bay, like, lighting a little thing on fire. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Lay, is not watch Lay is not babysitting at all. She's helping with the techs, keeping an eye on them so they're not doing anything funny on their ship. Awesome. So, any, uh, anything else for the Alfred and Leonoro conversation? Nope. Okay. You mean so, this, you mean this major plot point? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. More interesting things going on in the cargo bay. I spaced out a little bit. Okay. Alfred's creator is dead and somehow connected to Zephyr Core, who's puppeted by somebody else. There we go. That's all I needed to know. <laughs> Who has fancy stealth ships? Yes. Whoever Zephyr is working with or for um, have extremely advanced technology that should not exist. That is that is also established. The Perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. Excellent. My ADD kicked in. I said, ooh, squirrel, sorry. <laughs> okay. Mine has not kicked in yet, so I'm focused. Nice, nice. Okay. So, aboard the ship, Rona has accompanied her crew and um, Kalela and Bacchus and Alpha towards the towards the cargo bay or towards the uh, towards the uh, the bridge, the cockpit. And the technicians immediately get to work disassembling the nav computer at the front of the ship. Um, they say one of them turns back towards Rona. She says, "says What are we looking for over here?" Rona says, "I don't know exactly, but from what I understand, you'll know it when you see it." And one of them, she, one of the technicians, she says, yeah, and she pulls out this spherical orb made of what looks like crystal, and you see data streams just pouring across it at every angle, overlapping one another. It seems to be made of purely crystalline streams of data. 
Um, it's constantly shifting, although you can tell by the woman who holds it that it's perfectly smooth. She Ooh, says, That looks like it's worth a lot of money. As priceless. I've only heard of these. This. She turns and holds it out towards Rona. This is the A2. the A2 AI core. And. Uh, Kalela and Alpha, you are both here conveniently. Um, why don't you go ahead and make lore checks for me? Okay. I believe in you. Damn it. Where is my character? She. Boop. Beep boop. Lore. Boop. Okay. Womp. The name yeah. sounds familiar to you all. You have both heard of this A2 AI core before, but have not. You can't officially remember what it is. And is it part of? Is it like a ship part? It is not a ship part. Okay, never mind I, then. I'm gonna walk up to the tech that is holding it and just like staring at it because she's like holding it out, right? Yeah, she's got it in her hand. It fits in the palm of her hand. Okay, I'm like, I've heard of these before. Um. Can you tell me more? She says... So interesting. I thought they were extremely rare. They... They're just, they're just theoretically exist. I've actually never even heard of one, let alone held one. And she gets out a containment a containment box and sets it in it. You see as she drops it in, it suspends in midair. Gravitational fields holding it suspended several inches from each edge of the box. And she says... This is the most advanced artificial intelligence creation engine ever conceived. And then, just as that happens, the fire alarms go off. And you um, all hear a rush of air as the um, as the fire retardants all flood the cargo bay where, so where uh, Sova's at. Sova? And I'm going <laughs> to sprint towards Sova. My <laughs> ship! And Bacchus is going to take off running. So, Sova, your little fire in the corner did set off the um, anti-fire measures. Uh, luckily, the fire was small and easily contained, but you all walk in, and Sova, what are you doing? Sitting, like, cr crisscross applesauce in front of it, just clapping, like... <laughs> <laughs> Sova, fire outside, not on the ship. Not on the ship, okay? Oh. Bacchus May I go gonna... outside? Bacchus is gonna give yeah, her a smirk. totally. Bacchus Rona, Rona looks over towards you and says, like, please job. don't set any fires out there. Uh, Sova, Sova looks towards you, Kalela, look of concern. Rona, I mean, Rona Bac looks towards you. Bacchus is not in this hangar. Bad. Not in this hangar. In a, in a Zephyr core hangar. Oh, okay. Rona looks back towards her tech. So you were saying, uh, uh, yeah, uh, theoretically the most advanced AI creation engine ever created. Hmm, curious. And Rona looks what towards you, Kalela, and says, and Sova was connected to this. Sometimes, yeah. Rona nods like that kind of puts some pieces together for her. Go ahead, Nikolai. Nothing. Okay. Serona so kind of nods like that, puts some pieces together for her. And... Do you... Rona... Do you think... And I just point at Sova, and, like, with my left hand, because I'm assuming she's on my left, and then I point at the tech with my right hand, and just, like, look at her, like... Would I be able to make this connection? Yeah. We didn't hear a word you said. Or I oh, didn't. you didn't no, hear no, anything no. I said? No, we, I we, heard that she, we heard that you were pointing at the uh, at the tech and at Sova, trying like kind of trying to put together what um, Rona was putting together. Um, I would say, yeah. yeah, now that now that Rona has kind of explained it, she, Rona would kind of nod and say, an experimental AI generator that is supposedly not supposed to exist yet, and an Esper wielding AI that has gained sentience? First time I've ever heard of something like that happening. This can't be a coincidence. The two have to be linked somehow. 
love how you put that all together. Elva, do you know what this means? I'm amazing. <laughs> exactly. You're like the coolest ever to exist. And the only one. Like, one of the, like, totally the only one. We could probably sell her for a No. <laughs> we are not selling Sova. <laughs> Jeez. I will sell your grenades before we ever sell her. Sova okay. is learning how to murder. Do you really want to go there? <laughs> right. Well, Has anyone seen that new that now? new uh, the new one about the little about the little doll that goes ape shit and starts murdering people? Oh, Megan. Megan yes. yes, I need to watch that right. one. I, I love AI movies, but I have not seen Megan yet. I hear it's supposed to be good. Sounds well, right. I've heard I've heard good things about it too. I'm a. Uh... Solarius just all from the information we have, Silva currently is from sentient entity. I am not going to traffic in thinking, reasoning life forms. Mm. Nah, she's she's too much of a badass. We can't get rid of her. Okay. Ronan lets you all know. Her technicians have extracted what they need from the Hyperlance. And she kind of looks towards you, Bacchus. And she says, I was well, just going to blow this thing up. Uh, Revo no, says it's going to be after it. it. No, I it's disconnected them. Did we sell it? No, fuck you. <laughs> Rona, they almost, they almost tracked us. Almost. So, but Ro we were able to get them off our tail. We just gotta put a new paint job on it, you know, spruce it up a little bit. They'll never recognize it. She kind of nods, and Nikolai, she looks towards you and says, you can certainly try. However, no matter how much rework, how many sensor changes you do, somebody would recognize it. At least once I started digging into it. You know, I did see these really cool ships that kind of attacked us who had cloaking abilities. If I can figure that out and I like not to toot my own heart, but tooty toot, um, I'm pretty good. I mean, I point at Sova at, with technology being like a strong suit of mine. Not saying I created her, but like her body. So maybe I can like figure out how to do that cloaking stuff that those ships did and find a way to conceal us. So nobody knows where we are. Rona would tell you Right. Rona would tell you that the cloaking technology that they've witnessed, again, if you can pull that off, you've got a job anywhere in the galaxy for 12 figures a month in cubals, if you can figure that out. But... It's not fun, though. Yes. She says, but... Maybe we can figure something else out. She looks towards you clearly. You managed to s cut off the signal before it got to Revosis after you left so after you left Peltavaria. Mm hmm Totally. It's they it almost went off, but we saved it in the nick of time. Nothing went off. We had a few seconds left. It was Everything very was dramatic. chill. It was very dramatic. If a lot of our things are very dramatic. I've if noticed. We're a very dramatic crew. The stealth ships we think we're, are reporting to Zephyrcore. Would Zephyrcore let Revosis know that the Hyperlance was still flying? They would say I mean, no. R Rona would be very confident that Revos that uh, Zephyrcore would not communicate that with Revosis. Um, also, that if Zephyrcore possessed that kind of stealth technology, they certainly wouldn't sit on it. They would be marketing it and selling it and making all of the billions upon billions of cubals they could off of it. And who was that? That's the question. Hmm. You have no idea, Rona. She shakes her head. Well, None of us do. How does one capture a ship? Disable it. Board it. Same way you would any other ship. Fox is gonna slap like a wall. I'm like, well, 
my ships this is my ship i'll paint it i'll rename it we'll <laughs> reconfigure it but this is my ship damn it rona nods and says why don't you spend the next few hours refitting repainting and i'll have somebody waiting for you on Silrain prime to get your new ship registered in the galactic registry the shit-eating grin on Box's face is like ear to ear. Like, <laughs> oh my god, you're like the oh, Chessar yeah. cat. Yeah. I'm gonna lean into Rona and just be like, "Do you know how much you just made? Not just his day, his month, but probably like the next six years." I was counting on that. Something tells me I'll be needing your all's help again soon. For this ship. You can put me on speed dial. <laughs> I just think you're really awesome, so I'll help you out anytime. Can I see know where she draw can I is she like someone like me? Like a melder? Uh I think. Let me check. Am I yeah, able I to like was... she is she's something. She's an she's an Esper. She's an she's a she is an Esper power user. Or is she an adept? She's an adept. Thank you. That's she is, okay. She is an adept. So she's not like me, but similar. So we're like, you know, homies, Sympatico. cousin, sympatico. <laughs> okay. I like elbow her, like you know, like we're buddies. Like I got you. We get it. I love this so much. So much for those armor upgrades. <laughs> we got an armor upgrade with me taking co co uh, a combat pilot. Right. Stand uh, by, just a moment, maneuver. everybody. Whatever. Standing by. I am sure that. Yep. You do each get three hundred cubel. Oh, each. Nice. Three hundred nice. more cubel. Three hundred more cubel. Need to add another zero to those values. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I'm rich. Or I have expensive tastes. <laughs> rich, rich, bam, bam. All right, everybody. So, Rona and Leonardo so inform you all that it will be several days before they can properly decipher and combine the codes that they've discovered both on the Hyperlands and within Alfred. Um, I know. But... So what would I like to say, do you have anyone who may be able to understand what this writing is and points out the uh, script he had found on the ship itself? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. alien language that he had located on it. She nods and says, from what I understand, it's simply decorative, but we can certainly have someone analyze it and check. Perhaps it could be, but perhaps not. I'm just thinking we're dealing with multiple unknowns and Right. She says okay. You're very right. She'll have she'll have one of her linguists take a look at it. Uh he gets a short bow and I'm uh just steps back with the rest of the rest of the crew. Oh yeah, um I have we haven't been able to or I haven't been able to get a good look at it because of all the stuff going on. <laughs> Could I, like, do some sort of check to point us in the right direction? You can. Go ahead and make a lore check while analyzing the symbols. Oh, I was okay. going to say I am assisting, but never mind. Alpha? Yes. You vaguely recognize it from your teachings a long, long time ago. How old is Alpha? 2,000 years old. 2,000, fantastic. Alpha- Just a sprightly young thing. Yeah, you remember vaguely- you remember? Seeing something that looks like this. It looks like somebody kind of took it and chopped it up and reused it, but it is an ancient language. It is derivative of one of the first languages spoken in the galaxy languages that your people learned, taught to the galaxy, and has long since been forgotten. Your people don't even remember it anymore. But it is oh. a deriv it is derivative of a Bolari language that has been dead for over a thousand years. Oh. It is of my people. And of their past. 
and of our culture. Interesting. I love this. I must if take note is, of it. If it is of your people, and it's ancient enough, you have a hard time knowing what it is. Where did they see it to put it on a modern ship? Oh, maybe we shall find out when things are decoded. Hopefully. Maybe this communicator pad goes off. And she says, Rona, show me that writing. And Rona kind of tilts her wrist pad to look at it. She says, Rona, those runes are covering the A2 core. Lovely. And we're going to call it a session there, everybody. No! <laughs> <laughs>